the regular meeting of the North Mar ISD Board of Trustees showing time at 6 o'clock, April 12, 2001. Um, all members present except Jeff Martin. And we will start with um, item 2, Invocation and Pledge of Allegiance. So Sheila, do you mind leaving our invocation, please? <coughs> please bow with me. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for your blessings upon us as a district, as a person, and dear Lord, as a community. I just ask that you will guide us as leaders as we serve and, and do the best that we can in honoring you as we do and make decisions based on the best needs of our students and our staff. I thank you, dear Lord, for blessing us with a guiding hand, for good health for all, and I just pray that we will be that we will do things in an honorable, honest, and fair way. God be with us as we conduct this meeting and be with us, dear Lord, as this bond goes through. We just pray, dear Lord, that that your grace and that your blessings be upon us. It's in your precious name I pray. Amen. 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 Yes, and we're gonna gonna have our pledge led by the North Mars softball team. to item number three, public testimony. Ms. Dole, nobody signed up for public testimony? Okay. And we'll move on to item four, special recognition, Ms. Stewart. At this time, North Mar ISD would like to recognize Christy Trammell for her years of service on our school board. Christy began on our school board in 2014, and tonight's meeting uh, marks her last meeting as serving as a board member, and we very much appreciate her loyalty and her dedication to this district. So on behalf of North Moore I'd like to present Thanks. this one. in your schools or um, and haven't for a long, long time, um, I will always be available to help any of y'all anytime you call. Uh, we were also going to recognize Jeff Martin tonight and he was unable to be with us, but Jeff served on our school board from 2015 through 2021 and we also appreciate his years of service. Okay, we'll move on to item five, consent agenda, approval of previous meeting minutes. Has everybody had a chance to look at the previous meeting notes? And you have to, okay, motion made by Bo. Do we have a second? Okay. Seconded by Sheila. All those in favor? Okay, motion carries 6 0. We'll move on to item six, action and discussion items. Um, item A, discussion only, attendance and enrollment, Mr. Watson. Hey, you should have the enrollment numbers in your board book. Uh, just capping those numbers, uh, for, as of April the 7th, Higgins had 310.5 students. They were up by student. Everett was 261, which is an increase of two. Parker, 223, an increase of two. Uh, Bailey was down to 300, which went down four. Stone was up 550, which was an increase of six. And then the high school was at 689. Uh, down by four, but overall from last month to this month, we had an increase of three students. Uh, the actual ADA enrollment, uh, 
reflected about the same numbers. You can look at those. Again, it's at, uh, at three students from last month. Uh, on the second page, the ADA through April 7th was 2,168.39 at 94.42% attendance. Uh, again, Melissa budgeted for 22.33, so it was about 65 students less, but thank goodness for Hode Harmless, so we're in good shape as far as the findings. Any questions on the enrollment numbers? Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, item B, discussion only, board member continuing education training hours. Um, so, you know, we had to make sure that we have all of our training every year and I'm just going to go through and uh, name you guys. So Joel Sanders, you're sufficient in continuing education training hours. Bo Exum is sufficient in his continuing education training hours. Red Holmes is sufficient in his continuing education hours. Sheila Daughtry, sufficient in her continuing education training hours. Alicia Preston is sufficient in her continuing education hours. Christy Trammell is sufficient in her continuing education training hours. And Jeff Martin is sufficient in his continuing education training hours. Okay, um, and then item C, consideration and approval, grant authority to the superintendent to employ, teacher, to employ teachers for the months of June, July, and August, Ms. Stewart. Okay, uh, last year when we did this, this was actually written in the COVID resolution that you all approved, but what I'm asking for <laughs> is the authority from you all for June, July, and August so that when our administrators are interviewing for teacher positions that they have available on their campus, that you would please grant us the authority to hire those teachers without having to wait on a board meeting so that we're not losing good candidates to other districts. So moved. Okay, motion made by Red, seconded by Bo. All those in favor? All those opposed? Okay, motion carries 6 0. Okay. Um, item D, consideration and approval. Attorney contract for the 2021 2022 school year. Okay, in your board book, there's a 2021-2022 TRA Legal Service Program Agreement. This is from the Powell Law Group. Uh, my recommendation is that we continue with our same agreement since Powell Law Group is also representing us uh, with bond counsel. Uh, do you need a motion on that? Yes. Yeah. I move that we stay with uh, Powell. Motion made by Sheila. I'll second. Seconded by Red. All those in favor? All those opposed? Motion carries 6 0. And item E, consideration and approval 2021 2022 school calendar. Ms. Chadwick. So you have the proposed calendar. We have option A and option D. You can see on the next page what the vote was the 62.5%. And that was in color. That six, it really is option A. Well, <laughs> I wonder. Yeah. I know. So it was in color, but you can't really tell. But, so okay. Uh, the, well, we had calendar committee that got together and met, and we put a list of all their wants on a board, and then we went back and we did the best we could to provide all the needs that they asked for, and then we we had two different options show up based on the starting date whether we started earlier or about four days later. And then this, these were the, that was what was voted on was the one that actually ended the semester in, at Christmas. The other one carried over and most people don't like to do that. So. Now, am I correct in looking at this as a nine week grading period? It will be nine week grading period. That was also a committee request uh, came from It looked nice. It also keeps us from spending so many extra days on testing because we do a lot of testing, and so this kind of helps, say, give teachers more classroom time. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other questions? I mean, I know it's different, lots of y'all had it, so I'd love to answer any questions that you have, any concerns about. I like it. We felt like it's a very teacher-friendly, but we wanted to also be community-friendly. So. Uh, we hope we got the, the best mix. We need approval. We need an, a, I move that we approve this calendar. Calendar okay. is presented. Okay, motion made by Sheila, seconded by Bo. 
All those in favor? We'd like to do this. All those opposed? The motion carries 6 0. Thank you. And then um, item F consideration approval TEA TEKS certification form approval. Form approval, Ms. Chadwick. This is a required approval from the board every year to show that we are using materials, adopting materials that are 100% um, aligned to TEKS, and if not, what we'll do to make sure they align 100%. Um, if you will glance down that second column, the first column gives you the grade span, the second column shows that the TEKS resource system is our curriculum that we purchase for our primary resource. Anything else we adopt is a secondary resource that adds just additional layers of support that teachers vote on. Uh, so since we are a TEKS resource system district, it is 100% aligned to the Texas Education Knowledge, knowledge and Skills, all that. So it is aligned and this is just making sure you're aware of that. Um, and it will require the, the official, when I send this in, this is the first time they're sending it in electronically, so there's a new format that looks a little different. What y'all are used to is seeing one that just has a bunch of check marks on it going down the list. So this is just a little different looking. And let's see, the only adoption we have coming up this year is pre-K, and that will come to y'all uh, for approval of the next board meeting. The actual resource pre-K is not in this. This is K-12. Okay. Any questions? Any questions on? Okay. How is the curriculum for three-year-olds? It is in. It, <laughs> it's a great curriculum. Okay. Um, it is one we're looking at with the pre-K. So pre-K three and pre-K four. Um, <coughs> curriculum is the one we're currently looking at that we'll bring to y'all for uh, information next month. But it's it's coming up. We've looked at a lot of different samples, a lot of different publishers. It's very fun, very hands-on, very community-oriented. So we just um, okay. Motion made by Bo. Second. Seconded by Sheila. All those in favor? All those opposed? Motion carries 6 0. Thank you. And item G, consideration and approval. Request to extend engagement letter for audit services with Wilton Henderson. Can we start? Yes, it's hard to believe, but we're looking at year end and audit services again. So if you'll remember last year, we went with Wilton Henderson out of Texarkana. Uh, I have included in your board packet the engagement letter. I believe we had a real successful audit last year. I think it was well, the, the firm was well received by our district. I've only heard good things about them. So I would just like to request that you extend the agreement to Wilfred, Wilfred Henderson for the 2020-21 audit. Make a motion. Okay, motion made by Bo, seconded by Joel. All those in favor? All those opposed? Okay, motion carries 6-0. Thank you. Thank you. And item seven, superintendent's report. A waiver update. I wanted to give you an update on the waiver. At the last meeting, we talked about the waivers that we would be applying for in reference to the ice storm. So we applied for a waiver for February 16th for the remote instruction and for February 17th through the 19th for the missed school day uh, waiver. And both of those waivers were approved. So now that we have approval for both waivers, we have set the graduation date and that's going to take place Saturday, June 5th at 8 p.m. at our um, football stadium. And as of now, that will be a normal graduation. Uh, we will not limit the tickets. We will use both sides of the stadium. Uh, if TEA decides to implement any graduation restrictions, then of course we'll address those at this time, but we have not received any restrictions, so we're hoping for a normal graduation ceremony. And that would be okay. So, item eight, executive session. So, the board will now conduct a closed meeting in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act, Texas Government Code, Chapter 551, subchapters D and E. Time out, 614.